In terms of what the surgery is all about, the goal here is to make certain that we have an electrode that works in an area of the brain that is responsive for the behavior that we want to modulate. And so when you think of, of making analogies, say, to a moonshot, well, how do you get uh, something to the moon and how do you verify that it's on the moon? And there are analogies to that. Uh, first and foremost, there is guidance. You have a guided missile that sends you off. In our case, we have a navigational system. Uh, that's called the stealth station. That was initially invented and developed here. We built the first one in my basement, actually. And this is a device that allows us to actually project the electrode in a very precise path so that we know that it goes in at one point and goes to a target very precisely. And so the next thing we do is actually check uh, the location of the electrode with intraoperative CT scan. So this can be thought of as radar. So you have guidance and radar. And so now you are actually following the electrode with a form of radar as it approaches the target to make certain that there is no deviation of the electrode as it approaches the target. And then finally, uh, there are two functional considerations. There is some variance from patient to patient. Just looking at the structure of the brain on an MRI scan, there's not any particular a priori reason to believe that every single patient has the exact same wiring at that location. And so as you approach the area, you want to verify that that piece of tissue has functional significance for the patient. One way of doing that is to record from the electrode. The recordings are oftentimes emblematic and very distinctive when you get into the area, which is responsible for a certain behavior. There can be neurons that are tracking the tremor, et cetera. So we record from the electrodes. And then finally, once we think we're in the right spot, the CT is, 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 uh, is collaborating, the, the guidance system has worked, then we change out the recording electrode and put in the stimulating electrode and actually do a trial stimulation. And that's the real proof of, 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 of the whole procedure. We should be able to do a trial stimulation and uh, uh, ameliorate those symptoms, like the tremor, like we mentioned previously, uh, to make certain we're in the right spot. So there's actually four independent ways of verifying where we are uh, from a functional and structural standpoint before we close up and, and call it a day. And that's one of the reasons why it's so detailed, because of all the computers and radiology and recordings, everything that's involved in one of these procedures.